Golden Arm, because you're good at what you do. Alright, so I'm getting in position right now. Let's see if I can take on what I need to take on. This is literally my freaking hand can fit in there, bro. Well, I don't want to do that. I might lose a finger. <laughs> literally. But nevertheless, it can be done. It's just a slow process, man. Slow. Slow and slow stuff. Hey, what I tell you, stay sharp. Stay sharp. Let me get started. Ugh. So in order for me to close this gap, I have no choice but to run a bead along the edge of the bevel like you see right here. So this is where I stop. So I'm gonna carry this bead all the way up and I'm just continue to do that. All the way up. All the way up. Until I get this gap at about 1/8, and then I'm gonna go with it. It's gonna be ugly, but hey, it is what it is. It's not my choice, not my call. They gotta have it done, and this is how they want it done. So you can see how the gap is getting smaller and smaller, opposed to way up here. <laughs> how big that gap is. Let's back it up. There you go. That's a extremely wide gap, but my hand can fit inside the band, right? And this is how I'm closing it up. It is what it is. So, earlier in the video, we was way down here. But you see I ran the stringers up here, up here, and then I just crossed like this right here. Cross it, cross it, cross it pretty much. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm just running a bead all the way up the top. And now I'm gonna run another bead all the way along this side here. And then I'm gonna run another bead until I get it tight enough to bottom, maybe an eighth or so. And then I'm gonna fill it up. Yeah, this gap is extremely hard. My whole hand can fit in here, bro. Look at that. Come on now. What I'm getting? That's why we get paid the big buck. Man, I had to snake my way. I had to snake my way through here. Let's see what we got going on. This is about, about a foot and a half inch. About a foot and a half inch space, and this is a this is a 36 inch pipe, something like that. And um, yeah, when I say this is tight, it's about 120 degrees. It's tight, about 120 degrees. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a real a real rough one, but doable, but rough. So I had to replace a welder, an older welder kind of overheated so I'm coming in here to kind of take his spot and uh, finish what he got going on so they say it's a really bad whoa look at that gap a real bad gap yeah Yeah, and this is a real job. This is not a, well, I'm always on a real job, but this is, I can't really tell you where I'm at because, you know, camera's on the live, but yeah. Some of the stuff that you be asked to do, and like I mentioned in the video or two ago, it's not really about what you want to do, it's what you're getting paid to do. That's why they call you hand. Huh? Yeah, it's uh, 
It's doable. Uh, yeah. Now this has got to be the widest gap I've ever seen in my life. That's bullshit, man. Right? Yeah. Nice shift, get that. That is wider than my thumb. Huh? That is wider than my thumb. Yeah, huh? My thumb can fit in there. Yeah. Hey, weld whatever you want to weld, buddy. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I can do. <laughs> you know what you do. Yeah. I got this screwed in this side. And I, I'm working on that ring. I'll have this side closed up. Oh, yeah, you're doing a good job over there. Yeah, it's, it's coming together. But uh, it's not as hard as that side, man. Oh, shit. I've already been over there helping, helping Warren this morning. It, man, that's fucking hell over there in that corner. Yeah, it is. Because that gap. That fucking gap from five eighths. <laughs> you right about that. Huh? You right about that. Yeah. Them boys something else, not shit. Yeah, I mean, we'll try to <laughs> try to make we'll do the best I can do. They called me in this mess. <laughs> yeah, but. Working with minimal space. Let's see what we got going on. It is what it is. We're gonna do what I can. Well, I'm gonna do what I can do. And I'll get back with you. And this is a nightmare. Wow. Amazing. That is literally five eight of an inch gap. Try to squeeze on it and do something. Whew. I'll be back. So this is what we got so far. As you can see, like I told you before, what I'm doing is adding the pass to the edge of the bevel. And a really important thing to remember is if you ever catch yourself in this position where you got to fill an extremely wide gap that's just beyond. Uh, whatever you can think of, nowhere near the rule book. Something that just has to be done. Make sure you go along the edge of that bevel. Take that feather edge off and put a landing board. So whenever you do run your bead up the side, it will stay there, it just won't fall out on you. So that's pretty much what I did all the way down here. I built it up, I'm off the bottom. I'm like almost at four o'clock. So we've got quite a bit of a ways to go, but it's doable. It's a technique you need to practice because you might find yourself in a position where um, the job is just saying, look, I need you to be a craftsman. I know this is not the right way to do it, but we need it done. And if you perfected, if you have uh, perfected your skills, then uh, things like this right here, they, they're sometimes a headache. Well, I'm not gonna say sometimes, it's a headache. But it's, it's nothing, nothing for you to do. It'll be just like another day in the office. So, let me get back to
fuck it, I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> he was coming along. First he was here. Now we're way up here. Running them stringers along the side. What I do, I put a landing, took away that feathered edge, I put a landing, I put one string. Put a landing and one string. And then I just go right up the middle. Just sew it up right up the middle. There's a technique to this, so you need to, you need to log on to ChrisTanner.com and get that tutorial on how this goes. You're gonna need it in the field. Sure. Some living testing right here. Right here. And right here. The proof is in the pudding. And as you can see, hey, he down there getting it in too. He's a little bit well as well. Hey, look at this. Like I said, this is what he gets the big bucks for. Figure it out. This is what he was telling me. Figure it out. But it needs to be done. A lot of you guys out there, a lot of you guys out there that have been in a long time, you know what's going on. You know exactly what's going on. But, hey, what can you say? Get her done. So we got all that part done. I'll we'll move on to this little small part and I'll be finished with one side. Got it in there. Ugliest weld in the world, but it's done. At least the root is in there. I mean, this is by far the worst root I ever done. And if you knew where I was, I was working at, you wouldn't even believe that they allow something like this to be to be welded. But hey, man, they hire top welders. Figure it out. Sometimes hey, on these jobs, you gotta just figure it out. I mean, that's just what it is. Believe it or not. But yeah. Whew, that was a hot one. Hot and cramped up. Everything was hot. That's hot. But nevertheless, it's all good. I mean, another day in office. Y'all make sure y'all go to mygoldenarm.com and show your support. Show the world that you're good at what you do because you know you know you be in spots like this. You know you be getting in. So look, cop the apparel, rock it, represent, and we're gonna keep making these videos, showing up and showing out. Let's go.